All right, I'm still trying to figure everything out. My uh, computer's being a little uh, puss in boots. But, uh, yeah, I'm back. I'm going to try to do a couple trailers. Well, I wanted to do one trailer. I wanted to do the... Um, I wanted to do the fucking Star Wars uh, spaceship one. We'll get to that. But this is just a preview. This is just me coming back. Uh, trying to figure out my whole uh, headphone thing. Sounds alright. I don't know. I'm just not used to it. Uh, I meant to do all the PS5 trailers. You know, live. Reacting to it and shit, but... Just didn't work out. I'm sorry. So, I thought I'd just do this one. This is, again, this is just me. I've seen it before. But, you know, I got my Rockstar Energy Drink. That's right. They didn't have Monster at the Goodwill. So, gotta do this. My beard's getting longer, too. You can kind of hear it. Anyway, enough of that. Alan, stop talking. And get to the video game. All right. So he's walking through the street. You're like, what? He's in a spacesuit. It's New York City, post COVID, post BLM. You know, what's gonna happen? He's got a little uh, Death Stranding esque uh, device on his back. He's got like a little. Uh, Something there, some some high tech shit. It's like a little ghost of a girl. Is it the moon? Is it a little girl inside? Is it the suit? No, oh, no, it's a little girl. You got like a little cat. You see at the sharper image, you know, it shows you the anatomy. The Discovery Channel uh, store at the mall. Yeah, don't don't touch her. Okay, okay. Got a big old thing there. Something breaks through. So someone, someone destroyed the mirrors. That's right, I saw the expanse. This is Ganymede all over again. Get out of there. Now she's activating something. He's like, I could have done that by myself. Boom. Little, little bubble shield. That's cool. Yeah. It's space. It gets quiet. You jump around. You can't control it. Hey, girl. Uh, you sure you don't need a... You sure you don't need a suit? Can you breathe? Plot twist. They weren't on Earth the whole time. It looks cool. This is like a fun um, mini movie. I don't know. What's it about? Don't come out till next year. Or the year after that. What did it say? I was... Talking shit the whole time. Yeah. 2022. By that time, we'll be deep into our next presidency. The Olympics will be done. Uh, the PS5 will be out for a good year. <sighs> Anything can happen. We could all just be under communist rule, you know. Our, our country weakened. By racial divide and, and economic collapse, and uh, either the, the Russians or the Chinese could come and pick up the pieces. I mean, cool. At least we won't die, and and I'm pretty sure Russians have PlayStations, right? They still play. They're gaming. Uh, I mean, China's got some of the best, um, you know. What do you call it? What, what, what are the professional gamers? Esports. They got some good esport teams. 
anyway that's it you know let's go ahead and just um just to make this uh video nice and juicy let's just go ahead and watch this one too this one's fun again these aren't my two favorite ones oddly enough but so you got a little bit of this game's cool because it was made by actual um, uh, digital animators. They usually work with movies and whatever. So it's got a very cinematic. It looks like uh, what's that? Kobo and the two strings, whatever that dude's name is. Very cool looking. Fluid animation. They know what they're doing. I think these guys put style and animation first, and then uh, gameplay, which is cool. I'm down for that. But you cannot hide your weakness from me. Samurai check. You have no power here. Is it Kubo? Is it Kubo in the? Two strings? I don't know. I love that movie. Look at that. It looks cool. I wanted a Jack and Daxter reboot, but this is cool too. It's one of those games that it looks like for kids, you know, but it's whatever. I'm going to play it. It's really showing off the background. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Kubo. Oh, Kina. The bridge of spirits for your ass. Exclusive. They said Xbox, nope. So, well, what I was trying to say earlier is uh, with this new PS5 uh, stuff running, you can animate everything. Like the 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 big uh, the big thing about the PS5, if you don't know, is that the graphical. I, I don't know all the fucking words. I'm no scientist, guys. But to put it in the most blunt, you know. Middle school terms. There's like so much graphics that like you can animate anything and you don't have to like hold back. And like everything is usually run like pre-rendered and it's all like on triangles. But now you don't have to have. You could have more triangles, dude. Yeah, it's like you, you, you can... Like these guys, that's why I'm excited about these guys that made this game. They're used to animating for, you know, cinema or whatever. I don't know their background. I'm just making shit up. But I know they're the graphic artists. But when you when you when you make something in 3D and then you're told, "Okay, that looks great, but dial it back a bit. Make it look cheaper than it already is." So there's not as enough detail in the clothing, there's not enough detail in the hair and Apparently, uh, ray tracing or light bumping or whatever is a big deal here. Everything looks looks better. I don't know, man. I, I need to do more research and shit. Look, man, if you want to... I can point you in a direction of a someone explaining it, but I'm not going to do it for you. If you don't know why the PlayStation 5 is going to kick ass, then, then don't be watching this video, man. Go, go back to your... Uh, refrigerator xbox although they're they're gonna you know they're gonna be cool too i'm not hating you, you an xbox boy or a playstation girl who cares we all need to get along you know we, we we're divided enough all right we can't be fighting anymore all right guys i'm gonna head on to the squadron uh, video this has been a couple cute videos i'm gonna just yeah, it's 10 minutes. Uh, see ya.